guys today on Wendy Wednesdays we're going to be talking about being a broke young expiring person stay tuned so I don't know if how you all feel about this but I know how I feel about this and I am currently in school well I'm taking a semester off but same difference I'm still in school I'm currently in school you know you have a little plain old job or if you might not have a job you know you might do student aid or whatever whatever and you might live at school you live with your parents if you're bald enough to live on your own and pay your rent holla at you you know i feel you but i'm not about that life not yet and it's just like how do you sustain life with being a broke young aspiring person and still be like fashionable and have fun so i'm gonna give y'all like five quick tips um First things first, you all should download an app. I always add like apps that you all should do. Like, get this app, take up space on your iPhone. But um, no, really, this app. Right there, you see that? It's called Mint. Um, you can do it online if you don't want to, you know, fill up your phone. Do it on here. You have apps for your. I don't know if they have apps for regular computers or like you know like PCs, but I know it's an app for the MacBook. You know apple products but you should definitely get it you basically connect all your bank accounts all of like anything you owe if you have student loans they'll quickly add that in there everything and then you just keep account of your money so you can set goals of like i'm only gonna spend 15 dollars on fast food and i'm only gonna spend like 30 dollars on transportation or gas yada 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 and it keeps you on a budget personally i don't do budgets i'm very horrible at budgets when i start a budget it does not work well most of the times it doesn't work. Unless I'm doing on fast food, it works because I just really don't like fast food. I don't like to eat fast food. So it works for that. Other than that, it does not work. So I read, I'm doing this app again. I started Mint like maybe like a year or two ago and I fell off the wagon. So I'm back on the wagon. So this will really like help you save money. So first things first, download Mint. Okay, so the second thing is goals 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 you're inspiring to be whatever you want to be you know you're in college yada 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 if you set out some goals it kind of keeps you on track you know make a calendar put up a calendar on your wall and be like okay so by this day i want to do this this and this and so it kind of like keeps you aligned in your mind of okay so if i want to do this i might have to save this certain amount of money or if i want to do this i need to do this or maybe i need to pick up an extra shift at work yada 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 but if you have goals and like concrete dates of things you want to do or need to do or want to accomplish, it like motivates you a little bit more. So that's the second thing. Set your goals on your wall or on your phone. I personally don't like setting like goals on my phone because like I don't know about you all but like when I write notes in my phone, when I like put something on my calendar, 9 out of 10 I forget to look at it. So it's just kind of like... What is the purpose so more so when i do have like my calendar on my wall this is not my wall by the way i am at my second home so it's nothing on this wall it's actually my actual room so yeah um but yeah so i put it on my calendar you know i mark x of whatever i did whatever i didn't do and keep that ball rolling the third thing the third thing read Susie Orman's Young, Broken, Fabulous. It's amazing. Um, I read like three pages. So I bet you're all like, why are you telling us to read the book if you only read three pages? Well, I only read three pages because I didn't want to purchase the book because I'm cheap. And I'm, I'm still looking for the PDF value that you, know, you could like read three pages or something. So yeah, um, I need to say stop saying that. But that is a really good book. She's like money lady. Like she has, a, I don't know if you know who she is, but like she's this really good like, financial consultant and she has a tv show and she does a whole lot and she's really good with money i'm talking about she will whip you in the shape so i'm in the process of finding that for free pdf and there's not i'm just gonna buy the book unfortunately i don't want to pay 20 dollars for a book you know me being on a budget and all that's not in my budget what's in my budget is eating food and riding the metro and that cost oh and saving so yeah oh and saving takes me on to my fifth point no i'm sorry i can't count my fourth point set saving goals for the week if you have a saving goal for the week and you keep doing those goals every week you then will realize you become less broke 
Because when you don't have a set in stone thing of what you want to do with your money every week, you just wind up spending and then you're always broke. But if you say you know you get paid weekly, so I'm going to take 50% of my check and put it in my savings. Or you take 30% or whatever that amount is. If you constantly do that every week, you will then realize you become less broke. I bet you're like, girl, you know, because trust me, I've been there, done that, and all of it. So number four was saving goals. And on to number five, the sun is going in and out. And I don't know, I'm getting like bright, I'm getting dark. I don't know. See that glow? I don't know. But um. Goal number five, or point, I'm fucking it up, whatever. Point number five. This is a good one, you all. This is a good one. This is a very good one. Read my lips. Stop asking your parents for money. That is number five, people. That is number five. That's what you need to live by. I'm going to zoom it back out because the whole dramatic effect, which is really funny. I just really, I've really been wanting to do a dramatic effect and I'm just going to add all these dramatic effects in there. But that's the point. Stop asking your parents for money. You're probably like, girl, you still ask your parents for money? Uh, uh. I really don't like to ask my parents for money. I only ask my parents for money when it's extremely, extremely necessary. So for instance, when was the last time I asked my mom for money? I think I made an ask her for $10 towards the gas. But that's because it was a joint effort in the car. That's why. And that was like three days ago. But before that, I really don't ask my mom for money because I want to be independent. I decided I wanted to be independent sophomore year of college. No, 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 no. Freshman year of college. And then I really put it into play when I got my own phone and my own name and I started paying my own phone bill. And that's when I became independent. But on another note, that doesn't mean my mom or my father does not buy me things. See, that's, that's the whole difference, people. I will not physically ask my parents for money. But if they want to buy me something, that is completely on them. You get where I'm at? It's a little loophole. It's right there. Stop asking your parents for money. But... Go, if they have like, oh my gosh, Wendy, are you about to buy something? Yeah, I really need this. I have to buy it. I have to, they're ruining my video. I have to buy it. I got to get what I need. Well, you know what? Let me just pay for it. No, mom, I'll pay for it. Wendy, let me just buy it. You know, you're young, you know, you're really good in school or yada, yada, yada. You're really good with your money. Let me just buy it. Okay. You know, you fight it a little bit and then you just give in. But don't ask for money. Like, hey, mom, I really need this book for school, you know, I'm saving for school, whatever. But, oh, my gosh, you know what, Jim? I'll buy your book for you. Don't worry, because you're such a good child. Or some shit like that. You get the point. So that's what I stopped doing. I stopped asking my parents for money, and then I started depending on myself. And when you stop asking your parents for money and having to depend on yourself, you then realize you've really got the budget of your money, which takes us to number one. The Mint app. Stop asking. You see, it all connects, people. It all connects. When you stop asking your parents, that should be number one. But I wanted to wrap it on around, you know, make a complete circle. The circle of life. The circle of money. Got a little Beyonce on y'all. Y'all didn't know how to act. But, um, yeah, so there we go. Stop asking your parents for money. You get the Mint app. You set goals. And it just, it just keeps going on around, people. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you have any comments, leave them below. Hit that subscribe button down there. Hit that like button over there. If you don't like it, hit the, you know, the thumbs down. But then, if you don't like my video and you want to gracefully give me a thumbs down, leave me a comment and tell me why you don't like it because I might change it. I might. But as always, check out the last video over here and my Twitter and Instagram name are Wendy at Nicole. Oh, oh yeah, and don't forget to check out my website, wendyanderson.co. I just put up my first post yesterday on planned, on planned, uh, as I was supposed to. I told them that I had told my readers that I was going to put up my first post on the 25th, and I did it because, you know, the 25th is like five months till I turn 21. 
Ta-da! Let me stop. Um, but yeah. So check out that post. It's a cool little clip of a video. I went to this art show. It was awesome. So I hope you all like it. Here's a little clip right here. That little one. I hope you all like it. It's really cool. So check it out. Oh, and the person who had that art show was Apartment 50. Check him out on Instagram. APT underscore 50. So Hope y'all like it. I'll see you next time. I actually want to see you Friday because I'm going to give you all a face fast Friday. So your skin can be popping, popping like this. Let me stop. My skin is not even popping, but no. Have a good day.